finally, 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 they're here. So last Saturday on Nike's website, they released the Nike Air Zoom Infinity Tour and boy, have we all been waiting for this shoe. Couple of weeks after the US release and it's here in the UK and I've got a couple of pairs to show you. So guys, in 2017, November time, Brooks Kepka went to Nike and asked them if they could produce him a running shoe that he could play golf in. And Nike took him up on that and went about creating this Nike Air Zoom Infinity Tour shoe. Now, what's interesting, the press release said that uh, Brooks went to Nike and asked them to produce a shoe. Brooks said in the promotional video that Nike approached him to help them create a shoe. Nike came to me and they wanted to know what parts of a shoe do I like. So, not quite sure who asked who, but anyway, we have this pretty cool looking golf shoe here in front of me. Now, what's also interesting at the time, in November 2017, Brooks had just become Nike's highest ranked golfer in the world rankings, overtaking Rory McIlroy. But up to that time, Brooks had only ever won one major. Rory had four at that time. Sorry, I'm a bit of a Rory fanboy. Brooks ends up with a signature shoe and Rory's wearing the Rioche Rocher Tour G shoes. Not sure how that's happened, but it's happened anyway. It seemed to be a good move from Nike because obviously Brooks since then has gone on to dominate the majors in the world of golf. So before I get into showing you the shoes guys, just a reminder, my giveaway is ongoing at the moment. So it might be an idea to pause this video head over to my last video, get all entered into that, and then come back over, hit that play button again, and we'll have a little look at the Air Zoom Infinity Tours. So, here they are. As with all of my first look videos, guys, I like to take you through all of the technology in the shoe. And what's interesting about this shoe, Matt Plum, who was the project line manager for this release, he said that Nike focused on the fit, the ride, and the traction. So they've really focused on that when creating this shoe. So fit-wise, guys, Fit-wise, you've got this fly knit upper on here that's kind of got this sort of very sort of thin film over the top here. This is going to help with the waterproofing. The fly knit is not a new thing for Nike. The fly knit has been around for a long time. The waterproof fly knit you would have seen on Nike's Mercurial Vapor football boots, the ones that Cristiano Ronaldo would wear, as well as the Superfly football boots. But uh, the film and the fly knit continues throughout the upper. I'm pretty sure it's in the upper here, but it just appears a, uh, a little bit different to, uh, to the upper at the front of the shoe. And then the sort of the film finishes around about here, and then you have a very much fly knit tongue. You can sort of see by sort of how much I can stretch that around there, that uh, is very much a nice stretchy fly knit tongue. Moving on to the inside of the shoe, a little bit further down, you've got a Zoom Air Strobel. So this is an air sack which basically sits right underneath your footbed from front to back. Again, not a new technology for Nike, but a new technology for Nike Golf. This was previously seen in a KD12, that's a Kevin Durant 12 basketball shoe. They put that air strobel in, so they've included it in this to help with the ride. So the fit part was about the upper, and then the ride part starts to move down into the shoe, starts to move down. Once you've gone past the air strobel, you get into the Nike React midsole. So the React midsole, very, very similar to a Boost midsole on what you'd find in Adidas. This is just Nike's answer to that. And so again, React is not a new technology for Nike. Really, really isn't a new technology. It's been found in a number of their running shoes and been very, very successful in a number of their running shoes. So that's from front to back, all throughout the midsole, really nice and squishy, very, very nice indeed. Just really making sure that they're creating the most comfortable ride for walking 18 holes as they can. Now, moving on to the outsole, guys. The gummy, gummy, icy outsole. Just 
The design on this outsole is so, so cool. And obviously you've got the ride and then you've got the traction. For the traction, they've got these three piston spikes, two smaller ones at the front and one large one at the back. It's gonna be very, very interesting to see how these hold up over time. They are not changeable. If they wear away, is that gonna impact the playing? Is that gonna be impacting how much grip you receive when swinging? It's gonna be very, very interesting to see. You can kind of see they do sort of bend a decent amount. So gonna be very interesting to see when I get these out on the course, when I bring you a full review on them, just how well they hold up. What's also very interesting, strategic placing of the spikes here. So the one on the outer set a little bit lower, very reminiscent of where the grip would be for a twist grip system on an Adidas Code Chaos. So you can clearly see a lot of work has gone into where these spikes have been positioned. Also only three of them. So, you know, most shoes with eight, sometimes 10. I mean, foot draw icons in the past, some of them have had sort of eight, nine, 10. Only three, again, is the grip going to be compromised? We will see. The final bit of technology, guys, in the shoe is underneath the piston spikes. You can see these yellow pieces in here, sort of hyper green kind of color. I don't really know what color. I'm gonna call it Volt. Volt underneath there. These are hex zoom sacks. So again, there's more air zoom, double stacking that air zoom. Again, helping you with transfer of weight during the swing, helping you stay nice and comfortable out on the golf course, making sure you're not losing any energy when you're hitting those big drives out on the golf course. So what do I think of the design of these shoes? Now, Brooks Kepka, as we know, is big into his fashion. At the time creating this shoe, November 2017, Adidas Yeezys were popping. 350 V2s were a plenty, and they were very, very hype. They were very in, and we know Brooks is very much into his streetwear. It's fashion, bro. And I can definitely see a Yeezy 350. Look, if I put a picture up there, I'll show you. This is very sort of similar. It's like a Yeezy golf shoe. Obviously, Yeezy is uh, Kanye West, works with Adidas, but uh, Brooks Kepka, certainly if he's had anything to do with the design of this shoe and the aesthetic, I can certainly see it looking very, very much like an Adidas Yeezy trainer. I do really like the look of this shoe outfit wise with this particular model, with the white model out there, you've got a little bit more versatility. This model here, I can kind of only really see them being worn with shorts. I really just don't think they look that good with trousers. With a pair of black shorts and a white shirt, I think these ones are gonna look really, really smart. The others, a little bit more versatile, a few more colors that you could wear those with. I really, really like the design. Just this colorway is not my favorite. I do like the red and I do like the Volt. The Volt is really cool. It's just how much black there is on this heel for me, which makes it fairly difficult, in my opinion, to style. Now, Golf Poser, Trendy Golf, and Function 18 have not released these yet. These ones are sold out on Nike's website. I'm thinking that they're gonna be a few more restocks, surely. I can't imagine that Nike would release a shoe like this and not have a plentiful stock of it for the coming months. So I can't see it selling out and staying sold out. So do make sure that you stay tuned to everyone's social medias or everyone's Instagram pages for Trendy Golf, Function 18 and Golf Poser because coming days, they're gonna be releasing them. Or you can go over to StockX and pick them up. So StockX is a platform that you can buy and sell sneakers. They're not sponsoring the channel, but you can buy and sell hyped trainers, goods, all that sort of stuff. And these are on there. So for golf shoes to be making their way onto a resale platform for trainers and hyped goods, that shows for me that golf has come a long way in the last couple of years and it's slowly starting to become a cool game to play. The youth are really picking it up and I really think that that is represented very, very well in these shoes and the fact that they're on a website like that is quite incredible. Unfortunately, on there, you may be paying over the recommended retail price for these, which is 149 here in the UK. You might have to pay a little bit more than that or stick around for those possible restocks on Knight's website and then Trendy Golf, Golf Poser and Function 18. So sizing, guys, I have tried these on for size and I can confirm Firm. In my opinion, they fit true to size. So I'm a nine and a half in everything Nike and I've tried these on and they fit me perfectly. Now I like a snug fit. Having watched Golf Guy Reviews video on these, he says that he's gonna wanna go up half a size. For me, these are perfect in my true to size. I like a snug fit and they very much are a snug fit. 
They, they're a little bit wider in the toe box area. That's so that uh, during your swing, you can use every single last bit of toe energy in order to transfer your weight into the golf shot, hitting the golf ball further. No energy loss. Very interesting that, uh, that Nike have said that how much they have really widened this out to make sure your toes have the most amount of uh, sort of spread out, most amount of space to be able to use your feet properly in your golf swing. Very, very interesting. But guys, for me, true to size is where I'm going to stay. And uh, I think you should be pretty good. But uh, if you are cautious and you don't like a really tight fit, then do go up half the size and you should be okay. There's one other detail, guys, on this shoe that I really like other than sort of the vault colored tick there. I really, really like here, engineered to the exact specification of championship golfers. And this sort of, this phrase has been seen on a couple of pairs of shoes from Nike, and I believe it signals that this is a signature shoe. So it was first seen on the Air Jordan 1s. If you're a big sneakerhead, you're a big trainer fan, you'll know all about the Air Jordan 1s. So they were first seen on that, and to have included that on a golf shoe as a really, really nice touch. It's been included on a number of shoes across a number of sports, but uh, that basically says that this shoe here is crafted exactly how Brooks Kepka would have wanted it, which again, really, really nice touch. So guys, I hope you have found that interesting. If you are looking to go after this pair of shoes in the coming weeks, I definitely would recommend picking them up. I will bring a full review to the channel as soon as I've given them a test from initial trying on. Very, very comfortable indeed. Hopefully that translates out onto the golf course. So guys, that is the Air Zoom Infinity Tour. If you have not done so already, do hit that like button, do hit that subscribe button, and do head over and enter the giveaway. While you've got a minute after this video, Head over there and enter that. That will be fantastic. So guys, with that being said, take care and I'll see you all very, very soon.